Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. In this video I want to show off something pretty cool. New concept art from the cancelled Darth Maul game. I did talk about this game, I think it was one or two years ago, but to recap, basically Redfly Studios were working on a Darth Maul game called Battle of the Sith Lords back in 2011. This game was then cancelled in 2012 when Disney bought Lucasfilm since they wanted to create a new canon and obviously keep everything coherent. This game was actually supposed to take place sometime after Return of the Jedi so I can imagine that it would have been a conflict to Darth Maul in the Rebel series. The little gameplay we did see looked amazing and having a Darth Maul game in general would be really cool and I'm personally very interested in his journey before the Phantom Menace and see how he was trained by Darth Sidious. This new information and concept art comes from Thomas A. Chakolsi, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but he worked on the game back in 2011 and very recently he released a bunch of new concept art from the game on his art station. As I mentioned, this game was supposed to be after Return of the Jedi in a very gritty environment and in this game Darth Maul would have two companions. First off his apprentice Darth Talon and also a Sith probe droid. Both of these companions can be seen in these storyboard images that I'm showing on the screen right now. The concept art does reveal a lot of stuff. For instance, we can see him here with his robotic legs and to be completely honest, I think it looks even better than it did in the Clone Wars and Rebel series, so this version would definitely have been very cool to see come alive. And you can also see his Sith probe droid in the corner. On top of that, we have some new troopers like right here. This almost looks a little bit like the Death Trooper in Rogue One, at least the helmet but it's obviously white instead of black. And we also have some concept art of a new Imperial officer who might have been some sort of a main character in this game. And I find this character to be very interesting as well. It looks like some sort of Sith Emperor, but the thing is that it doesn't look very similar to Darth Sidious, so I'm not sure if this would have had a completely separate timeline to the real movies and if it would have been a new Sith Emperor or if this is just a very strange version of Darth Sidious. No matter what, it would have been very cool to see this game come alive. I don't care if it wouldn't have been canon or if the story would have been completely contradicting the Rebel series or the Clone Wars series, but it would still have been awesome to have a separate story just for Darth Maul. I mean, we do know that Respawn Entertainment are working on some sort of lightsaber heavy, most likely prequel game, but I don't think that's gonna be around Darth Maul, although that would have been very cool. I mean, if we're lucky, that game might even cover different Jedi, Sith and lightsaber wielders, and we will follow along different stories and not just one character. But again, we don't really know much about that game at all, so it could turn out to be anything. But that is all for this video, please let me know in the comments below what you thought about this art and what your feelings are about this game getting cancelled. Thank you very much for watching and as always, may the force be with you.